Good morning. Actually, it's nearly afternoon here in Rosendale, Wisconsin. Um, but I actually am at the flying field with an engine ready to run. Yes, the weather has been nice enough for me to actually drive into the field. In fact, I drove in here first before I even had any an engine with me just to make sure I could get in and out without getting stuck. And then I was like, well, crap, I have an engine on the stand that I've already run a couple of times. Uh, why not just throw it in the car and bring it real quick? So what I have today is the FA Sato FA300T engine that Keith Good uh, donated to me for this channel. Now this engine, if you recall the first video, it came with uh, ignition uh, gasoline conversion on it. I have removed the Walbro carb and the manifold, the gas intake manifold extensions and reverted this back to a glow engine only. And that's how I'm going to be running it today. I've run it a few times as glow only. And right now I'm actually having some issues with the ignition system anyway. So it's good that this is still set up. Now obviously the sensor is still on here. I didn't take the sensor off. And that's not necessary to be removed for running it just as glow anyway. What I have on here is a Big Master Airscrew 20 by 8 prop. I've got two um, Hangar 9 four-stroke plugs in here. And I thought I had more fuel in here in this tank than I do. So I And I did not bring any extra fuel with me. So all I've got is about a third of a tank of fuel. So this is going to be a very short run. I filled this tank up yesterday. Thought there was more in it after I had done my run. And as I said, I just threw this thing in the car and came out here to fly thinking that I had enough fuel. I really don't have enough fuel. There's enough fuel to do a very short run and that's about it. Now this engine does run very well as glow only. Uh, it's tuned pretty good. What I was seeing yesterday when I ran it, not on video, was that after I come back from full throttle it tends to want to die so I have to come back a little bit slower. So it's not 100% tweaked out but it's a it's running well enough and it idles well enough to at least get it running. So I will add screenshots to the weather conditions. Right now I believe it's about 37 degrees and it's beautiful out. So let's just run this engine and get a run in today. Are we rolling? Yes. Okay, so this thing tends to like to be really wet. So I'm going to Pull the throttle open, close the choke, choke the living crap out of it. Until I see a lot of fuel flying out, just like that. Close our throttle up and stick this in this hole. And hopefully this baby's gonna just fire right up. talking about
didn't go through all the fuel yet, but see what I'm saying? How there's still, it's warm. There's still a bit of tuning that I need to do and I'm kind of drawing a blank as to what that needs to be at this moment. still be able to get one more start out of her. Let's see. Looks like it's pretty low though. Okay, so she runs really nice and what was the tuning issue I had was the, the ratcheting mechanism on this high-speed needle is missing so it's not super tight it's not like it's opening itself it's not but I had it to set too lean so I richened it up and I think when I was when you see me adjusting the high-speed needle and then you hear it really pick up in RPM it's because it was too lean and I was richening it, giving it more fuel, and that's when it really started to sing at full throttle. Uh, it still had a little bit of an issue, and maybe it's just because of the fuel level in the tank when I would go back to idle. I think I still need to readjust my idle set screw or stop screw adjustment screw just a hair, but overall, this engine is a, is a nice running engine, and I like running it on glow. I was gonna run it as glow ignition but when I was going to put the CH ignition harnesses on the 90 degree, one of the 90 degree couplers uh, broke. And I don't know, they don't look like they're spot welded or welded very good or what, but I was not able to solder the thing back together. I tried JB welding it, that didn't work. So as it stands right now, the CH ignition, one of the harnesses won't lock on to a plug like it's supposed to. And I really don't think I can even attempt to run it like that because if it's not going to be making locked on and making full contact, I will have issues. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to remedy that situation at this point, but the bottom line is this is a beautiful engine and it runs well as it should on glow alone because that's how it was designed anyway. But uh, that's our run for today.